Good morning, everyone. I usually begin my address on this occasion each year with, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another St Joseph's celebration evening. Of course, it is not presently evening as I speak, nor are the parents with us. This year has been anything but usual, and our 2020 Christmas production, while having some familiar elements, takes a different presentation format in this COVID-19 year. I am grateful though to be able to have the opportunity to offer a reflection, not so much on the year that was, although it has certainly been one that we've never experienced before or that we will forget, but on the 15 years of my time at St Joseph's, as I prepare to leave this amazing community. Yesterday began the season of Advent, a very meaningful and beautiful four-week season of the church. We prepare and wait for the special guest to arrive at Christmas. This year, our musical production, Lights, Camel, Action 2, the sequence, showcases your children's talents with a humorous rendition, leaving us with the real meaning of Christmas in our hearts. I know you will laugh and enjoy the production albeit not as guests of a live performance. Our wonderful St Joseph staff, in particular this year, our talented music teacher, Mrs Natalie Sweetapple, have encouraged and supported our children in their preparation for this presentation. Our many helpers with sound and light are here this morning. I would also like to make special mention of Mr Dan McMahon and thank him, thank him again for his generosity in allowing us the use of this magnificent facility. Catholic education has been integral to my whole life. I attended Catholic schools and college as a child and a young person, and on completing my teaching degree, I was posted to a state school where I taught for several years before transferring to a Catholic school as a primary classroom teacher. I always felt a sense of belonging growing up in a Catholic family and Catholic school environment. I remember attending my interview for this position of principal of St Joseph's Catholic Primary School in Bundaberg. In particular, I remember two panel members, Ms Lisa Jeffcoat, our director, and Pauline Merrifield, who was the, currently the board chair. They were very encouraging, but relentless in their questioning. Another vivid recollection I have is of when Lisa rang me to offer me the, the position. I was being driven by a friend over the Houghton Highway uh, at Redcliffe and we were on the bridge returning. I asked my friend to pull over so that uh, I could answer the call from Lisa. I was so excited. I have never lost this excitement over my years at St Joseph's. I still come to school every day excited to be part of this wonderful community. Of course there have been challenges and some difficult times but I am excited always about the possibilities for this wonderful community. I remember many different instances, occasions and events over the past 15 years. As I drove up to Bundaberg from Redcliffe to take up my position, I felt a sense of peace. I can still recall this as I drove through those cane fields, now dotted with macadamia trees. My first introduction to the school was to find a staff room that was not really a staff room, but was converted to a classroom due to incomplete works. My first assembly was memorable. I was out the front in that covered area, waiting, waiting, waiting with the APRE David, who then asked me was I going to speak. I answered that I would once all the children had arrived. He said they were all there. I had come from a school of 600 plus, so the 170 students seemed so small. But I've grown to love and appreciate this family sense that is the strength of St Joseph's. Many changes have occurred at St Joseph's over the last 15 years. St Joseph's is a dynamic, authentic Catholic school that continues to grow and evolve. In terms of buildings, MacKillop Hall, the kindergarten, refurbishments, furniture, technology with our one-to-one -one program, the environment with our gardens and our enviable lush green lawns. However, schools are relational environments. 
made up of people, staff, students and families. Certainly buildings and resources are important and they add value, but it's the people who together develop the culture of a welcoming, authentic learning community. St Joseph's is so much more than buildings and the physical environment. It is the people. In reflecting on my time in Catholic education, and in particular at St Joseph's, I would echo the words of Pope Francis that I read recently. The educator in Catholic schools must be, first and foremost, competent, qualified, but at the same time, someone who is rich in humanity and capable of being with young people in a style of pedagogy that helps promote human and spiritual growth. These are indeed words of wisdom that sum up for me the essential dynamic of the life and culture of a Catholic school. Teaching and leading in a Catholic school is about nurturing the full development of every person. I deeply value the Catholic school environment that allows and encourages me to overtly focus on the human person at the centre of education and understand the person in the image and message of, of Jesus. I have always had a sense that as Catholic educators, we are all connected and are journeying together in relationship with a living, loving community. I love that as a Catholic educator, I can invite others into partnership with us, unashamedly authentic Catholic school. I am particularly blessed to be a leader in a St Joseph school where the values and message of St Mary of the Cross MacKillop are overtly named and practiced. I have learnt much along my 40 year journey in Catholic education and particularly in my role as principal of St Joseph's Catholic Primary School. Hopefully I've been instrumental in upholding and promoting the authenticity of Catholic education at St Joseph's and more broadly. For me it has been a privilege and I am thankful. While I do feel a sense of sadness, I feel at peace with my decision to retire as I did in accepting the principal's position at St Joseph's those 15 years ago. I will miss the bright, happy smiles, the good mornings and the peace be with you, as well as the sounds of laughter, especially echoing from our kindy area. I will miss working and learning together with colleagues and the friendship and support of families, the board and the PNF. They have been consistently offered over the years. Thank you to my current leadership team members, Trish and Doya, to all staff current and past, to St Joseph's families current and past, and especially to the wonderful young children, all who have walked in the footsteps of Mary of the Cross MacKillop. I am grateful to Lisa and the team in Rockhampton Catholic Education for their leadership, support, wisdom and friendship. It has been a joy to be a leader at St Joseph's Catholic Primary School. I will forever feel an un unbreakable connection to this very special school. I have been blessed. Mary McKillop's words from her writings are especially significant at this time for me. They are, believe in the whisperings of God in your heart. I'm leaving a copy of this little brown book, Mary McKillop's Spirituality in Our Everyday Lives, as a gift from our community to Monica as she prepares to lead St Joseph's Primary School into the future. Thank you and God bless.